So we're going to go over a resisted throwing motion. So like in some of our previous videos, we're going to tie a knot and put our band into the door like this. And I like to ball my band up a little bit, almost like it's a baseball here. And then we're going to assume almost a throwing stance, like you're doing a snap down throw. And then you can use this as your fake glove, or you can put your glove on if you miss baseball and you're at home for a while. So we'll go straight down like this. And with this motion, you can either do it as an all arm exercise like this and really focus on the arm. And then a simple progression from there is we start adding in the hip and trunk motions. And again, we want this to be nice and slow. Don't let the band fly up on the way back. We want to get the most out of this exercise and get the eccentric part too. And as it starts getting a little bit easier, we can add tension to the band, use a uh, heavier band or step out a little bit more. So again, we're basically just tracing our normal throwing motion here. And for me, I'm a little bit more of a three quarters kind of guy. So if you're more of an over the top type thrower, you can even make it more in your throwing position up here as you would throw a ball. So this is just a way to work resisted throwing motion. It's gonna help train the muscles of throwing, add a little resistance to it and get our arm stronger for the throwing motion.